man. Look at that. Not gonna lie. I mean, that looks alright, but I definitely like it with the run on. No, no, no. I mean, just the run. Yeah, but you haven't seen it with the with the shroud over it, huh? The hangar? What's it on? No. The original piece that went on the outside. Oh, the bar? The, yeah. the, the machine bar is over there on the... Oh. So y'all got a hand guard that you guys made for this? Or is that something that was There's like... something that came with it, but I just made this piece where it works for it. Oh, okay. Oh, that little thing, all right, all right. Yeah, so the original piece. So this is the original piece that went on. So what I made originally is I made these two. So pretty much this one. Definitely let us know what you think about the, the options that we're playing with right now. I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be excited for this. But yeah, man, we doing some stuff with the egg and leshy. Get on there, man. How many rounds are you got any in here? Can't just you left is what ten ten shot? Yeah, so you should have probably about four rounds. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about what I'm looking at right here. So John just made this back piece so we can thread on the extender directly onto the gun itself. You'll see, so it's literally threaded on. So we can actually thread the extender and add uh, either Emperor or a Ronin to it. This is the Leshy 2. And this is something that's coming in production pretty soon? I think we're just making this adapter and then people will have the option of adding either the Ronin or the Emperor. Uh, credits to John for machining this, you know, making it possible. Look at that sunlight bringing out the red. He's gonna think I some more. Probably put two more pumps in it. That gun is, is from 1974. 1974. That's everything. Benjamin Sheridan. I'm like the price of the it's done easy. Classic. It's a new day, it's Friday, and I'm heading into the job. I'm heading into uh, to the shop. 
and you know, let's see what we're gonna get into today. You know, every day is an adventure at Donnie and Phil Super Second. So, so today we're trying, we're gonna put this whole big shroud onto Leshy and see how that sounds. Now, John's gonna make the end cap to make it fit on both sides actually. This thing doesn't really fit. But just to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like, it's gonna be the badass Leshy. Oh yeah, that's pretty dope. Yep. Man, that actually looks really good. So we'll we'll get to the point where there's diminishing returns on how big the volume is, and we want to see how quiet we can actually get it and distinguish between the muzzle blast and the mechanical noise of this gun. Similar to the other one, like if you did like a six inch extender or a little bit quieter. I think it's a little bit quieter, not very big difference. I, I think I hear more of the action. Yeah. <laughs> that right. smoke is bad. So this is without pellet impact noise. <laughs> so quiet. No, it's not the loudest. You gonna try it, John? I have two more. There's some of them on here. It's on. Safety's on. <laughs> Push it I remember now, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> So now we got like the the extendo on there. <laughs> Extended, so we want to test all possibilities. This is the really long extender plus the amper. <laughs> Do you hear any different? Yeah, watch. Let me stand back a little bit. It sounds bit. the same because of the action. Oh yeah. It's just the impact. <laughs> Double tap. That's awesome. <laughs> Safety on. Nice. Yeah. So for guys who are shooting like from inside a house who still say like, oh, you know, I got this emperor or something on and still loud, it's the action, the mechanical noise of the uh, indexing that makes the noise. And if you're inside a house, it's gonna echo off the wall. One. As you guys know, I'm in Longwood, Florida. After coming from church, I saw this uh, farmer's market, decided to come over here and check it out. And then I saw this, this amazing memorial. You see all the American flags posted in the ground. Uh, they have all the flags and you know, it's 9-11 as you guys know. And you know, they have just 
a beautiful display out here remembering you know those people who you know tragically lost their lives in 9-11 me being a military veteran you know it definitely you know hits home to see things like this and to understand you know exactly what it was that i had signed up and enlisted into the marine corps for yeah it's it's crazy to think that it was 20 years ago that that happened but that changed our lives that changed the way you know americans live their lives every single day you know and from here on out you know it really woke us up to realize that you know there's things you know going on in this world that puts us in danger but you know it also gives us a, a whole new appreciation towards the men and women that serve our nation I just wanted to give a quick vlog to you guys to show you guys how much this touched my heart to see this, especially with people that I've known that has been affected by 9-11, lost their lives in the in the military. You know, I wanted to, you know, hop on here and share my thoughts and, you know, give my deepest condolences to everyone that suffered on 9-11 20 years ago. You know, God bless America. And as always, until next time, have a blessed day.